Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely T 2002. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend. So, anyways, I am here. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! So I wanted to come on here and talk about all the drama, honey, that's been brewing on social media, particularly pertaining to Azalea Banks and then also somewhat Doja Cat, okay? So if you guys don't know, the other day I had made a 43-minute video. I'm doing an entire breakdown of the whole Doja Cat situation. I've had so many people reaching out to me, telling me that they really liked the video. It helped them understand more about the situation. You know, I bought receipts, honey. So people really enjoyed it. The video's almost at like 300,000 views already. And so anyhow, um, once people started canceling, Canceling her and saying Doja Cat is over. And you guys know how I feel about the whole cancel culture. I feel like it's bullshit. But once she started trending on social media even more, like literally this girl had been trending for three days straight. So finally, Doja Cat decided to come out with a public apology. Now, what I find very funny is that when all this was going on, the shade room was crickets. They didn't post anything about the initial story, you know, social media dragging her. But then as soon as she apologizes, the shade room runs to post her apology letter. So I'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys here. So Doja Cat says, I want to address what's been happening on Twitter. I've used public chat rooms to socialize since I was a child. I shouldn't have been on some of those chat room sites, but I personally have never been involved in any racist conversations. I'm sorry to everyone that I offended. I'm a black woman. Half of my family is black from South Africa, and I'm very proud of where I come from. As for the old song that resurfaced, it is in no way tied to anything outside of my personal experience. It was written in response to people who often use that term to hurt me. I made an attempt to flip the meaning, but recognized that it was a bad decision to use that term in my music. I understand my influence and impact, and I'm taking this all very seriously. I love you all, and I'm sorry for upsetting or hurting any of you. That's not my character, and I'm determined to show that to everybody moving forward. Thank you. Honey, so that was from Doja Cat, okay? So many of us, myself included, were not buying her apology. I find it very funny that this is the same woman who has stated verbatim since she's been out that she does not consider herself a black woman. She identifies as biracial. And I agree with that 100% because that is what she is. She's not a black woman, okay? So anyhow, it's funny now that she's reiterating that in her apology letter. She's saying that, you know, she's a black woman. Half my family is black. She's never really talked about her black family in a sense of pride. It's always been like, I don't know my black daddy. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's very funny that now she's trying to gravitate and use the black community in her apology. You know what I'm saying? to soften the blows but at this point many in the black community are turned off and i'm not checking for her so now what's even funnier is that after that um old man ebro's ass decided to come out with his cape honey and wanted to cape for miss doja cat and azilia banks drug his ass so this is what old man ebro had to say and he's from hot 97 for y'all who don't know so ebro says Instead of canceling Doja Cat for having a weird fetish and identity issues, possible to uplift her, show her being black is beautiful. I'm assuming she has no black culture in her suburban wasteland and her white mom couldn't help her in chat rooms. So Zillia replies back and she says this. Where the fuck was the sympathy for me, nigga? Old man Ebro, oh, high yellow jiffy <laughs> I can really read that y'all know Azealia Banks be dragging, honey. She says, where the fuck was this sympathy for me, nigga? At old man Ebro, old high yellow jiffy popcorn cornbread looking Negroes stick together, I see. <laughs> so, of course, when she said that, that went viral and I agree with her 100%. I don't give a damn about the messenger in this case. She's speaking the truth. There's absolutely no sympathy for Azealia Banks when she clowns and she says crazy stuff. People just dismiss her and keep it moving. But now with Doja Cat, you know, folks are trying to defend her. They want the red carpet rolled out. Oh, we need to embrace her. We need to teach her more about her culture. This is a grown fucking woman. Okay, let's let's stop acting like she's 15. She's like 23 or 24 or something like that. She's a grown woman. If she 
wanted to know more about her heritage and her black culture, she would have went on a learning spree by now. It shouldn't take social media dragging you to want to know more about your other half and to do better. So that's a bunch of excuses. The only reason why Ebro and a lot of people in the black community are still caping for her and, you know, trying to soften the blow and, you know, you know, trying to create new hashtags, you know, Doja Cat, we're sorry and all this stupid shit is because of her looks. It's because of how she looks. It's the fact that she's biracial and that's why they're trying to cape for her. That was bullshit on old man Ebro's part. Um, it wasn't just about her having some weird fetish and identity issues. She said a lot of toxic racist stuff, not just towards black people, but towards other people as well. So she's just an overall toxic individual. And let's stop acting like these videos were old. She was in those same racist chat rooms as recently as two weeks ago. And I have all the proof of my video. I find that very funny that he's making all these excuses for her. Now, another thing I noticed is that her PR team has been working overtime, honey. They even released a small snippet of a video that she's getting ready to release with Gucci Man. So again, trying to divert people's attention from all the, you know, controversy and bring them back towards the music. So they released a snippet of that video. So they're definitely caping for her at this point. And if she really wanted to take people's opinions of the situation into consideration, then instead of her running and hiding and, you know, disabling her comments, she'd leave her comments open for the dragon and for the education. So Doja Cat and her team are full of shit. And I'm not buying that bullshit leak that her management team did to basically distract everybody from the fact that she was getting drug on social media. So now let's fast forward to today. So what went down is that Azalea Banks started trending all over social media. And at first she was trending because she basically put it out there that her and Dave Chappelle, who was a married comedian, smashed. <laughs> So Azealia Banks was straight up wilding today on Instagram Live, just telling all her business, honey, and was dragging everybody from Dave Chappelle to David East to Busta Rhymes to Nicki Minaj. But we'll get to the Nicki Minaj situation in a bit. So I want to go ahead and play you guys this video of her talking about Dave Chappelle. Y'all go ahead and check this out. We'll be trying to shit on me like, oh, people don't want Azealia. Like, I have actually fucked a lot of fucking very powerful fucking men and you will fucking gag if i spill all the fucking tea and ruin all the fucking marriages because it's a lot of tea that i be wanting to spill on y'all black niggas especially like when y'all be seeing me getting getting attacked in the media and shit and y'all don't come to my rescue and shit like that like dave Chappelle, i should ruin your fucking marriage i should ruin your fucking marriage i should tell the fucking world that we fucked. That we fucked. <laughs> you got some good dick, nigga. I should tell the whole fucking world that we fucked. Because y'all niggas don't look out for me. So what the fuck I'm keeping secrets for y'all niggas for? What the fuck I'm keeping secrets for y'all niggas for? No, they should fuck fuck me again. That was some good black dick. That was some good, strong man ding man ding and that nigga's a legend that was like yes nigga give me that fucking legend energy i will snatch that shit right up <laughs> but i'm not gonna spill all my tea just i'm just here to let you know as a city of things that a lot of you rap niggas are corny as fuck because Y'all don't know shit about shit in the fucking world. Y'all be buying them fake ass protects and buying them fake ass jewels. Y'all be getting fucking fucked over by all these Arab niggas that think you're fucking Kafir or whatever the fuck they call us. You know what I'm saying? Niggas selling you fucking age color diamonds like fucking flawed ass fucking diamonds backed by a fucking platinum piece and y'all niggas feel like y'all made it but then y'all got the audacity to sit up there and tell me i'm not valid in hip-hop and all that other shit nigga bitch y'all fucking these little fucking instagram bitches off the internet for 250 dollars i fuck dave Chappelle. suck my dick nigga all right, so you guys just saw that video, and Azealia Banks is a hot damn mess. You know, a lot of people are saying that she's a liar. Dave Chappelle would never smash her. He has his, you know, beautiful wife, F her. Now, Azealia Banks does lie about a lot of stuff, but 
I could see this being true because again, remember a year ago, I think it was like back in 2018, she came out and basically blasted Elon Musk in Grime and said they had had her trapped in their house for like days and that she was there to be like their sex slave and they were going to be engaging in threesomes and Elon Musk was, you know, doing drugs and his stock started plummeting and honey was a whole bunch of mess. It seemed like Tesla ran quickly to do damage control and I feel like the reason why they were going so hard doing damage control is because there might have been some truth to it. Elon Musk claims that he's never met her but she had receipts, she had pictures and things like that and then let's also not forget if you guys remember back in 2016, Azealia Banks went viral for basically saying that Russell Crowe, you know, spit on her and kicked her out of his hotel room in front of a bunch of people, in front of guests. RZA tried to play crazy and say that, oh, it didn't happen. She's tripping. And then a few years later, he came out and he admitted, you know what I'm saying, that Russell Crowe did spit on Azealia Banks and he basically sat there and watched and did nothing. So that let me know that, you know, initially people tried to make it seem like she was crazy, but then it came out that she wasn't lying about that. And she let it slip that RZA had brought her over there to sleep with Russell Crowe and that RZA was basically pimping her out. So I'm not surprised. I believe, you know, that she is probably being pimped out. She has a lot of mental health issues. And let's keep it real, you know, how is she affording to live the lifestyle that she's living right now? She's not really dropping much music. Nobody's buying her stuff. She's not really getting booked, and especially with this coronavirus. So I can see, you know, these rich men in Hollywood, they may not like her. They may think she's crazy, but they'd still be willing to smash you know, so that might be how she is getting her income, you know, by smashing all these different guys. I wouldn't put it past Dave Chappelle or anyone because that is how they get down in Hollywood. Everybody messes with everybody. You know, a lot of girls get turned out and pimped and passed around the industry. If you guys remember, ex Pussycat doll singer Kaya Jones talked about this. She said that basically the Pussycat dolls were a prostitution ring, they were passed all around the industry, you know, from execs to producers. You know, anybody could have their way with them just because they wanted so bad to be in the industry and to get top records so I would not be surprised if Azealia Banks is being passed around that's just my opinion so now what's going down is this so if you guys do not know um Azealia Banks also blasted Nicki Minaj and caught Nicki Minaj out on her hypocrisy on how Nicki Minaj has so much to say about Cardi B honey even started Queen Radio just to go in on Cardi B and it's quite funny that not only is Nicki Minaj but also the shade room they're quiet as hell when it comes to this doja cat situation like i said it earlier the shade room only posted her you know her apology but they never posted the story and then they also ran to post when azalea banks was dragging and putting out her business out there with dave Chappelle. but when i went onto their you know page today i saw nothing about her dragging Nicki minaj so once again it goes to confirm what we've all been saying that they are the paid room and they have Nicki in their back pocket and there's certain things they're not going to post because they don't don't want to piss her off me personally i don't give two shits you can't never sound on somebody's payroll because if i was i wouldn't even post it you what she said about cardi b she said it it is what it is i'm a blogger we gonna talk about it azilla banks also drug cardi so that's the difference between me and people like the shade room i'm not in nobody's pocket don't nobody cut me a check to say or not say shit period point blank so anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this rant from azilla banks y'all go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary and another thing that I find fucking funny, right, Nikki, is for all that fucking mouth you have for Cardi B for talking shit about black women. And now you quiet because you got your little number one with this white bitch. You a pussy ass bitch. Fuck out of here. You mad pussy. You wow pussy for that. You should have got right on that queen radio and you should have fucking put that bitch down in the ground where the fuck she belongs. Put that bitch down in the fucking South African emerald mine where the fuck that white bitch belongs. But you, like now, now, now I'm looking back at it. It's like, you was just jealous of Cardi. You was just jealous. Like, you was just jealous because she got more swag than you. Like, what, nigga? What? You went on a whole, you made a whole radio show about how Cardi B is bad for black women, but you're... Nah, I would never sit up here and play you and be like, oh, Cardi's a better artist because the bitch is fucking trash. That's what we all know. You know, that's what we've all found out. We know KSR owns fucking 85% of that publishing. We know the bitch scrapped two albums. Atlantic ain't got no fucking incentive to push Cardi B, 
Okay? But if you really a woman of your fucking word, you better get on that fucking queen radio and you better tear that bitch through your head right the fuck off. Or else we know. Or else we know you're making it known that your money's not very long. And you're not the queen of rap. You gotta do desperate shit. Like, these A-list rappers won't even fucking go near you, bitch. Like, you working with Takashi and Doja Cats and, like, whack bitches like that? Like, what? Trying to put fear in bitches' hearts and shit like that? Like, I'm just very disappointed in you. All that shit you talk about female rap and female this and female that. And look at you selling out. You selling out. You keeping quiet. Like, while this white bitch does her little fucking... Her little... All right, so y'all just heard what Azealia Banks had to say. And I agree with her 100%. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.